Hey guys! So fall is almost here and I've been feeling really inspired by fall fashion and colors. Today I am going to be showing you how to make these fun beaded wrap bracelets inspired by the fall season. For materials you will need some medium width cording. I will be using a burgundy and royal blue color. Beads in the color and texture of your choice. Just make sure that the hole is wide enough for your cording. Bracelet closures and I will be using the toggle kind but feel free to use whichever you prefer crazy glue or super glue, some scissors, and some tape. Now let's get started. So the first one that I'm going to show you guys is this beautiful double wrap bracelet using the royal blue cording. Okay, so you're going to start off by measuring your cord. Just wrap it around your hand five to six times and cut the excess off. You will need two pieces of this length. Next, you're going to measure an additional piece of cord by wrapping it around your hand three to four times. This will be your beading cord. Now you're going to align your three pieces of string and tie a loop knot, making sure it's nice and tight. Next you'll need a piece of tape to secure your cording to your working station. Then you'll want to separate the three pieces, making sure that the short cord is in the middle and the longer ones are at the sides. Time for the beads. Take the end of the middle cord and start stringing your beads. My wrist size is thin, so usually 45 beads will do, but no worries, you can always adjust the amount that you use to fit your own needs. Now that you're done stringing your beads, take a piece of tape and secure the end of the middle string to your workspace, making sure it's nice and taut. For this next step, we are going to be doing the square knot. Take one of your side strings and make a half triangle shape over the middle string. Take the other side string and bring it over the first one. Take the end of that same string and bring it under both of the middle strings and pull on each side. Make sure you tighten it once it's at the top. Now we're going to do the same process but on the alternate side. Remember, half triangle shape, bring the opposite string over the first one Bring the end of that same string under both of the middle strings and through the triangle and then pull on both sides. Make sure you tighten it once it's at the top and repeat this process for 15 times. Once you've finished all of your knots, we're going to start adding the beads. Push up one of the beads and make your square knot. Just make sure it is on the opposite side of your last one. Now make another square knot on the opposite side of the first one. I like to alternate both sides in between my beads because it firmly secures them and helps the bracelet keep its shape. Keep repeating this process until you finish up your beads. Okay, so now that you've finished securing each bead, you are going to repeat the same process from the beginning by making another 15 square knots. Remember to keep them nice and tight. Remove the tape from each side and try on your bracelet to see if it needs more or less knots. Keep in mind that you will be adding the finishing knot and bracelet closures. Seems about right for my wrist. Now take your bracelet, flip it over on its underside and make a tight loop knot. I find that by flipping it over, the knot just ends up looking nicer on the top part of the bracelet. Now take one of your closures and string it through one of your three strands. Then, with the remaining two strands together, make a regular knot with your closure strand and tighten to secure. Take your glue and go over your closure knot and leftover string. This step will make sure that your knot doesn't get all fuzzy and undone with regular wear. Make sure to pull the leftover cord downward before the glue dries to make cutting the excess strands a lot easier. Now just repeat the same steps with your other closure. Cut off the excess strands on each side and there you have it! Your beautiful double wrap bracelet perfect for the fall. This next bracelet that I am going to show you guys is a double beaded wrap bracelet in a berry burgundy color. Again we'll start off by measuring the cord. Wrap it around your hand three to four times and cut the excess off. You will need two pieces of this length. Now you'll need to measure two additional pieces of cord by wrapping them around your hand two to three times. 
These will be your beading cords. Align your four pieces of cord and tie a tight loop knot. Secure to your working space with a piece of tape and separate the strings, making sure the shorter ones are in the middle and the longer ones are at the sides. Now we will begin by stringing the two middle cords. I usually use 30 beads in total, so I string 15 beads on each strand. Keep in mind that you can adjust the size of your bracelet by adding or removing beads or square knots. When you're done with your beads, secure both strands to your workspace with tape. Next, we will move on to the square knot. If you still don't have the hang of it, that's okay. You can go back to the beginning of this video where I explain the square knot in full detail. The only difference is that there will be two middle strings to go under instead of one. You'll need to alternate each side for eight times. When you're done with the knots, it's time for the beads. Pull up a bead on the side of the corresponding square knot. Remember, continuity is key and you want to pick up right where you left off. Now make a square knot and tighten to secure the bead. Pull up another bead on the alternate side of the first one and make another square knot. Keep alternating sides with your beads until you're all out. Once you're done with the beads, continue on with another 8 square knots. Now that you've finished your knots, remove the tape, flip your bracelet over, and make a tight loop knot. Take one of your closures and string it through two of your four strands. Now with your two remaining strands, make a regular knot with the closure strands. Now repeat the same process with your other closure. Glue your knot and leftover strands on each side, pull them downward, cut the excess, and you're done! So that is it for my fall inspired bracelets. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that you try them out. The fun part about these bracelets is that you can customize them with your own favorite fall colors and style them in so many different ways and make them individual. I love the way they look and I hope you will too. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you have fun with this and I will see you in my next video.